In this video, we are going to discuss about AWS Cloud Development Kit for Java developers. What is CDK? So it's an open source infrastructure provisioning tool created by AWS for developers. This makes creating and defining AWS resources pretty developer friendly. So why this is developer friendly? Because you don't have to code in JSON or YAML to define cloud formation and AWS infra. So instead you code everything in your favorite programming language and you can easily convert that to CloudFormation or directly deploy to AWS. So as of now, CDK supports most of the popular languages. Go, I think it's still in testing phase as of recording this video. So what is infrastructure provisioning? So this simply means setting up your underlying infrastructure where your application will run along with the steps to deploy your application. There are uh, three common ways we provision our infrastructure. So first is manual ways. By manual, I mean, you know, we just go to, let's say, AWS console and start uh, whatever service we need and then deploy our application. But this is a pretty bad approach. Why? Because uh, there can be human error while defining the infrastructure also, right? And it's not reproducible because we can't just, you know, deploy on a single environment. We may have to go to different environments such as production or maybe different region for multi-region deployment. So this is not a good practice. Second way could be, you know, by using scripts where you can automate everything instead of manually doing the things. This is better than manual provisioning, but not the best way. This has its own pitfalls. And the last thing is uh, cloud formation. So cloud formation is a very famous resource provisioning engine, but there are problems with cloud formation such as large JSON files, and you have to learn its own syntax if you have worked in CloudFormation earlier, you are going to like CDK a lot because, you know, the same infra which takes 70 to 80 lines in CloudFormation, you can easily do that with, let's say, 5 to 10 lines in your favorite programming language such as Java or Python. Let's talk about how CDK works. So CDK is built on top of CloudFormation. Let's say when you write your code inside a CDK app, that code is converted to CloudFormation template and then that CloudFormation template is deployed to AWS. And when we talk about uh, the hierarchy in CDK app, inside every app you can have one or more stacks and these stacks contain constructs. So a construct can be a single AWS service or some integration of multiple AWS services. These constructs are reusable component. You can use these construct inside a single stack or multiple stacks and outside your apps also. Let me show you one portal from AWS wherein you can find all the open source constructs. So this is a construct hub portal wherein you will find multiple constructs. So this is supported by AWS. So let's say if you want to search about uh, AWS Lambda constructs and you will be able to find multiple such options. And let's say I only want to search for Java constructs then you can select java here and uh, let's say serverless so you will be able to find multiple such constructs and let's say if you want to use any of them you can just uh, let's say for java language you can use uh, this maven dependency and use this small code and you will be able to use the functionality of this construct and you can integrate the same within your code so this is a very good feature and you should explore this construct hub portal and try to implement some of the constructs in your existing applications. Let's talk about prerequisites for the CDK app in Java. So first and foremost is obviously Java and second is Maven. So Maven is the default package manager for CDK in Java language. Then you should have AWS CLI installed and that CLI should be configured for your account. Then obviously the CDK should also be installed on your app and for installing CDK, I think you need a node also. So let's check on my machine these applications and then we can go and start with the sample CDK app. I've opened my terminal and let's just check Java version. I have Java 11 installed, Maven also. So Maven is also installed. Let me check. AWS CLI version so it's 272 and the last is CDK version 
So CDK is also installed. So let's look at the important commands that we have in CDK. First and foremost is CDK init that we use to create a new project in CDK. So you have to specify one of the supported language also along with this command. So second one is CDK sin. So this will create a cloud formation template from your CDK stack. So whatever resources that you specify in your Java code, a new CloudFormation template would be created by reading those resources. Next one is CDK Bootstrap, which is a very important command without which you will not be able to deploy the CDK app. When we talk about CDK Bootstrap, so this bootstraps a new environment for you so that a CDK app can be deployed. So this is called only once per AWS environment. So when we say environment, that consists of uh, AWS account as well as the region. So for deploying CDK app into an AWS environment, we need some preliminary steps that bootstrap command does. For example, creating S3 bucket and uh, IAM roles. So these IAM roles are needed by the CDK so that you know it can deploy all the resources that you specify in your CDK app. So when you run CDK bootstrap command on your local, you can pass the environment details along with that, that you can see here in this command. And if you don't pass, and if you run only CDK bootstrap, so these details would be picked from your CLI profile. I hope you know about AWS CLI and how you configure that on your local. So in our case, I won't be specifying account details that would be picked up by AWS bootstrap. So yeah, we will try this uh, in our demo. For now, you can see that uh, with CDK Bootstrap, I am passing two account details here, basically two environments. This is the first environment and this is the second environment. So you can configure multiple environments also with CDK Bootstrap. So the next command is uh, CDK diff. This will tell you the difference between your deployed app state and the current changes. So this is very helpful as you can get to know the changes that you are making and that will impact the current deployed stack. I will also cover this in our demo. And the last is CDK destroy. So CDK destroy will delete every resource and the cloud formation stack associated with your CDK app. So this is it from the CDK theory part. I would be covering CDK demo with Java as a language. Subscribe my channel and stay tuned for that.